Action this week. We've got the Battle of I-75 in men's basketball coming up on Saturday inside Savage Arena. Before we get there, Toledo and Bowling Green both in action tonight. We start with the Rockets. What an atmosphere inside Savage Arena. Eastern Michigan in town. Toledo trying for their fourth straight victory. What a night for Imani Bates. He's got ties here to Northwest Ohio, and he put on an absolute show tonight. First half of this one, he would make seven threes in the half. He had 29 points at the break. He would finish with 43, the most for a Toledo opponent in Savage Arena history. Toledo's up one, though, going to the locker room. Eastern came out on fire in the second half, but Toledo responds. Great ball movement. Dante Maddox, just two points in the first half, scored 17 in the second. It's tied at 39. Toledo was down by as many as 11 in the final seven minutes, but they storm back. Great outlet here. Seth Milner under the basket, hesitates and scores. He is one of five in double figures. He had 16. Under five to go. This an enormous play. Dante Maddox Jr. from the wing. Splashes down a three ball and he would get fouled. He would finish off the four point play. But Bates in the final second would get one last chance at this thing. Rockets up three. Amani a chance to tie but it's off the mark. What a game. Rockets rally back for a huge win. 84-79 the final. I swear to you I never once felt we're losing this game. Now we're down 11, now we're down, you know, I just, I, never once. And there's some certain, I can't, I can't say that about every game. Uh, but this is a game I just felt we, were, we had the, the right guys, you know, playing hard and, and staying together and staying positive and, you know, our timeouts, listening to what, what, you know, Ray J and Seth and Raheem were saying was awesome. I think the biggest thing was, was character on our end. Uh, I think the big, we wasn't, we wasn't really, tripping too much. We understand uh, kudos off to base for the performance he had. We understand that they went on their run, but we know we, we pack a pretty big punch. So um, I think uh, we stay composed and we was able to fight back. The Bowling Green men also in action tonight up in Mount Pleasant taking on Central Michigan. First half of this one, Falcons would get out to a great start. Leon Ayers with a career high this past Saturday, picking up right where he left off. Knocks down a three ball here. He would finish with 24 points. BG had a 10 point lead. Later first half, Cade Matheny also getting it done from behind the arc. He works around a screen, buries that one from deep. He had a nine for the Falcons. Bowling Green controlled this one from the tip. Samari so Curtis, three of his 19 off the bench. Falcons led by 32 at one point. They win it 83-61. That's their second straight win.